Roxio Easy Audio Capture makes it easy to capture internet audio, whatever the source. If you can hear it, you can capture it. Start by playing some audio from the internet. Then, in Creator, click Music Audio, and then Capture Audio from Sound Card. Roxio Easy Audio Capture opens. Working from the top down, click the Capture From list box and choose the capture source, which is usually your sound card. Then choose your input. This will vary with the device, but if you can see the volume meters jumping, you've got the right input. Otherwise, you don't. If you can hear the audio, but don't see the volume meters jumping, diagnose and repair the problem before continuing. Click Auto to set the volume level. Again, you need audio playing to use this function, preferably some loud segments. Click OK to continue, and Roxio Easy Audio Capture detects the incoming audio and sets the optimal level. If you're capturing music, click Record Internet Audio Separate Tracks, and Easy Audio Capture will use gaps between songs to split the songs into separate tracks. If you're capturing a lecture, talk radio, or other non-musical performance, click Record Internet Audio One Track to capture the program in a single file. Then click Options. Start in the General tab. To set a time limit for the recording, click the Limit Recording To checkbox and set the desired limit. Recording beyond an hour or two is not advised. Click Mute System Sounds while recording unless you have a strong reason not to. When pre-roll is checked, Easy Audio Capture records the specified interval continuously and adds that duration to the start of any captured audio file. It's useful when you won't be sure you want to record the audio until you listen to the first few moments. To enable pre-roll, click the Enable Pre-roll checkbox. Note that when Mute System Sounds and Enable Pre-roll are both enabled, System Sounds will be continuously muted when Easy Audio Capture is running. Then, Insert the desired duration. Enable auto pause and set the interval if you want the recording to pause during silences. If desired, click this button to change the location of the temporary files that Easy Audio Capture creates while capturing the audio. You can also type in a new prefix for each file in the file name prefix box, though the default value should work just fine. Then click Save To to view those options. Here you choose the location for your recorded tracks. If you ignore songs shorter than 30 seconds, you'll eliminate most commercials. Here's where you set the interval that Easy Audio Capture will use to split the songs. 1.2 seconds is a good starting point, but you may have to choose different intervals for some internet radio stations. While processing the recorded songs, Easy Audio Capture will search the Gracenote Music ID database and try to identify each song. If you click the Do Not Re-Record When Song Already Exists checkbox, the program won't save any songs that already exist in the designated Save To location. Finally, choose your format. MP3 files play on almost all devices, while AAC provides better quality and will play on iPods and other devices. Then choose a data rate. Click OK to close the dialog, and you're ready to record. For convenience, consider clicking into mini mode by clicking the switch to mini mode icon. Click the big red button to start capture. You can stop record by clicking this button, or the recording will stop automatically if you set a time limit. Once done, Easy Audio Capture will process the captured audio, look for matches in the Gracenote database, and save the files in the designated location. Unrecognized audio will be stored in an unknown folder.